If you've ever wanted to assist a family member in getting a mortgage, then listen up. Many people have thought about helping their family out, but they didn't know the right way to go about it, and they didn't want to go through a burdensome process. I want to tell you today about a little-known, seldom-utilized mortgage program that allows you to buy or finance a property for an elderly parent or a disabled child to live in, all while qualifying it as your primary home. That means you get lower down payment, lower closing costs, and a lower interest rate. In today's lesson, I'm going to cover all the details with you. So what exactly is a family opportunity loan? All right. So the family opportunity loan allows you to buy a home as a primary residence or an owner occupied home, even if you don't plan on living there as your primary residence. Yeah. Why is a the family opportunity mortgage such a great loan program? And what specifically are the advantages? I'd say the number one advantage is because you're able to qualify for the home as an owner occupant that you're going to live there. It's a much lower down payment requirement on an owner occupied home. You could be as little as 5% down in most cases versus 15 to 20% down in some cases, 25% down. If you're going to buy it the old fashioned way, just as a regular investment property, the next thing's going to be lower credit score requirements. It's an owner occupied loan. You're talking about better loan terms, lower interest rate, lower closing costs, less points, less fees, just overall a lower cost loan. Do you find that I'm in the minority or do a lot of people not know about this? Almost nobody knows about it, to be completely blunt with you. As a consumer, as a homeowner or home buyer, you wouldn't know about this because it's not out there being publicized. It's not on the news or the radio or TV. You'd be surprised how many actual professionals, people in the mortgage industry, some have even been doing mortgages for a decade or longer, and you'd say to them, "Uh, family opportunity loan, or you talk about this, and they... They, they look puzzled. They don't know what you're talking about. So these programs, and this in particular, really only comes up to those who have experience with it. Like I always say, Ryan, it's all about experience, who you work with, the team that's behind you. This is one of those scenarios where you could choose the wrong lender. They don't know this guideline. They don't know this program. They don't have experience. You could end up paying literally six figures in additional fees and interest, not to mention an additional down payment if they put you in a regular investment loan versus this type of family opportunity program. Can you give me some examples of the uh, the people that have uh, utilized the family opportunity mortgage? So I had a, a client come to me eight, nine months ago looking to buy a home for his mother. His mother, they're from Venezuela. The son moved over here, got a great job in Manhattan, making multiple six figures, just doing really, really well. The mom doesn't know English. She doesn't have a job out here. Um, really has like no source of income. He wants to bring his mom over here and get her nothing crazy, not a huge house, little condo in New Britain. We looked at it and he's like, the main thing was his down payment because he knew an investment property, he was going to have to put down like 20, 25% in most cases for a condominium investment. So we looked at this family opportunity program, ran it by the underwriter and figured out that, hey, this is going to work. So now he was able to buy this condo for her only 5% down. Not only that, but the interest rate he was able to get was about a half a point lower than if he were to do an investment property. Is there any additional documentation that may be different for this? We have to be able to prove that the child or parent can't afford to live in the property on their own. So in a lot of cases, we might have to show their tax return or lack of a tax return. Um, Another thing is going to be like a Social Security award letter. What are some of the disadvantages of the family opportunity mortgage? you have to qualify with two payments. So you have to qualify with your current primary payment. Then we also have to count the new mortgage against you, the property taxes, the home insurance. If it's a condo, we have to count the homeowners association fee against you. So for those on like a very limited income, swinging two mortgage payments can be a, you know, a big hurdle, right? And then the other big disadvantage, you don't receive any rental income to qualify. I hope that now you're realizing a family opportunity mortgage can be the opportunity you've been looking for to help your family out. If you found value in today's lesson, go ahead and hit subscribe or smash the bell to get notified on all of our future content and share this with someone else that may also find value. We're putting out 
Tons of new content and knowledge for you every single week to keep you on the cutting edge when it comes to mortgage and financial strategies. I do offer consultations, so if I can be of assistance to you or anyone that you know, reach out to me by call, text, or private message. I can be reached at 860-413-3938. As always, I hope that helps, and we'll see you soon. Take care. Thank you.